This is Akashvani. In the program Spotlight, now we bring you a discussion on withdrawal of 2000 rupee currency notes, important queries and answers. The participants are Dr. Sharath Kohli, economic analyst and Rajesh Lake, Akashvani correspondent. Sharad, why are 2000 rupees denomination banknotes being withdrawn? Well, I think it's a very, very important question to answer because a lot of people are carrying inhibitions in their mind as to this is demonetization 2.0 and all sorts of imaginations are being made there. But we should not forget that every currency note, especially if it's paper note, has got a life of four to five years. So it's very normal for RBI under Section 26.2 of the RBI Act 1934 to ask the government to pass an ordinance by which these notes are withdrawn or they are taken out of circulation. So the notes had finished. In fact, they were launched, I remember, after the demonetization happened in 2016, 8 November. These 2,000 notes came into circulation somewhere in the beginning of the first quarter of 2017. So it's already been more than six years, I would say, and they have completed their life, five years of their life. In fact, if you ask me, as a financial analyst and as an economist, they have gone beyond their life. So it was very kind of RBI to have allowed them to carry on beyond that because the notes become soiled, they get torn. And we should also not forget that this is a very large amount of currency note. This was introduced as an ad hoc measure at that time when the 500,000 notes were withdrawn in 2016. The country had run short of currency. There was a need to remonetize. And the remonetization process means even if the printing presses would have run 24 hours, they would not have been able to meet the requirements of the economy. So this was found as a solution that let's introduce a 2,000 rupee note, at least value-wise, we fill up that huge gap which was created. So this was an ad hoc measure that temporarily we do that. And then obviously, at some point of time, when the other currency notes of 500, 100, 200 are there, when there's enough of remonetization done, we can withdraw these notes. So this was basically an ad hoc measure. And then we had started observing that at the peak of its circulation, Rajesh, these notes had reached value-wise about 6,7 22,000 crores at the peak when there were maximum 2,000 rupee notes. But then after 2018-19, I think RBI had stopped printing these notes and gradually as you went to deposit in the bank, they were not being given to you either through ATM or through over-the-counter cash transaction. You were not getting these notes. Most of the banks were not giving them, which means the number of notes in circulation was going down gradually and this was one reason. The second aspect when a lot of people were not seeing 2,000 rupee note as often as they used to is that there was a lot of holding going on because this was found to be a very easy method of storing money because obviously it occupied much less space as compared to 500, it occupied a quarter of space. So if I'm wearing a suit, got five pockets, two in my trousers, three in my jacket, I can actually carry five packets in my suit, which means 10 lakh rupees. So that's a lot of money and nobody would probably even notice. So I think this was not very good for the economy because it promotes holding of black money, it promotes terrorist funding. It promotes human trafficking, smuggling. You know, it gives birth. It becomes a point of birth for a lot of illegitimate activities which were being observed, especially terror funding. So I think for all these reasons, it was only thought appropriate that probably the objective of launching 2000 rupee note has now been met. And it's high time to withdraw before, you know, the misuse of 2000 rupee note. And we were seeing a lot of counterfeit currency. I met some people a few a couple of years ago who had landed up with a counterfeit note. And they said, we have lost 2000 rupees, a counterfeit note of 100 and a counterfeit feed note of 2000 is a lot of difference you lose that much value straight away it's a direct loss to the person so i think these were the multiple objectives but prima facie yeah, this is being called as clean money campaign by rbi so the ad hoc purpose was met for five year cycle of the note was completed and hence this order under section 26.2 has been passed and obviously you can go and change them after 23rd May up to 30th September you can continue with this process. There's enough time, there's more than four months for people. I don't think a common man needs to worry at all because these notes were anyway hardly seen and you know you can't use them for retail. You give it a sabzi wala or a grocery store and they will say saab humare paas change nahi hai iska, ye chota note bije. You know for this reason people were not using it as often and people were not appreciating carrying these notes. So there were several reasons and I think it should be taken in the right so you mentioned that each note, the estimated lifespan is four to five years. So doesn't this mean this is applicable to the other currency notes also, other denominations? Oh, yes. In fact, you raised a very, very important point for people who use currency notes. And there are, I meet a lot of people 
who are very fond of collecting currency notes they want to keep the currency notes in fact for some people it's a hobby as well they maintain an album of old currency notes but for the people who are used to seeing the currency notes very minutely you would have observed that the 10 rupee note or the 20 rupee note or the 50 rupee 100 rupee note which used to be there a few years ago you don't find them anywhere we have a blue colored 50 rupees note similarly a 10 rupee notes when you first come across these notes they, they say are wah ye to naya note aaya to pehle nahi dekha i want to keep some so where do these all needs notes go did anybody ask this question do you ever wonder that where do these all old notes go and how come suddenly you start bumping into these newer currencies the simple reason is that rbi gradually withdraws this and while remonetizing so you demonetize and you remonetize together the only difference here is because there is no intent of introducing another 2000 rupee note for the reason i just described so that is why this is going to completely disappear after 30th september of course if there are no extensions given which i do anticipate there could be one or two extensions because there still might be some people who might be lagging behind in the exchange process or in the deposit process in the bank so therefore all notes go through this process in fact a paper note doesn't have a life or beyond that because there's a concept which rbi uses which is called soil notes in fact if you go to any bank in the chest of the bank there is a separate compartment made for soiled notes now these soiled notes are either they are torn or they are dirty because they change so many hands people have scribbled on them so these notes they become non usable and you don't want to touch a very soiled note so every currency note has got a life cycle of about 4 to 5 years so it's very normal for rbi to withdraw them at any point of time sure do you mention the clean note uh, policy would you just elaborate on that well i interpret two meanings out of it of course one meaning is the physical part of it there are soiled notes there are dirty notes after all they are made of paper and you can imagine if you follow a note from the time it leaves the printing press of rbi till the time it reaches the end of its life cycle you can't even imagine how many hands it changed only very few notes they get stacked from day one and they lie there as it is and then finally you know they get demonetized at some point of time or they're taken out of circulation for that matter but otherwise if you have life of a note it probably takes thousands and hundreds of people's hands and they are a dirty hand so these notes they get spoiled so you need to clean them now you can't clean a note by putting it in a washing machine obviously cleaning a note means you withdraw these old notes you can't clean a paper once paper is dirty so it's primarily have... to make good quality bank notes available to public exactly okay. you have to withdraw them yeah. and then you have to introduce a new say in fact there is a discussion going on for making those plastic type notes which are not made of paper because they don't get dirty that easily they can also be cleaned with a wet cloth and the second interpretation i take out rajesh of clean money policy is that you're cleansing the economy out of the hoarding which people had done this is of course my interpretation but probably somebody can imagine clean money is physical cleaning but i also take it in that way that there are people who are hoarding it and the government is very well aware it's a very easy mode because when you take a 2000 rupee note it occupies so much less space that you can probably store crores and crores of rupees in a very small place whereas we don't have high value notes you find it logistically and space wise very inconvenient to probably store i have seen people who take large payments in cash there could be legitimate large payments in cash where they say we don't want smaller notes please give us larger notes because we don't have a bag of that size we don't have a vehicle of that size which can carry the note and so on and so forth so i think clean money for me has got two objectives one is physical cleaning of the money good quality paper notes and also cleansing the economy of the hoarding or the black money okay. whatever these okay. notes they em- emanate in terms of the illegitimate activities for okay. that matter. Sir, let's move on. Does the legal tender status of 2000 banknotes remain and also can 2000 banknotes be used for normal transactions now? Oh yes, RBI has clarified that after 23rd of May, you can go to a bank, you can exchange 10 notes at a time. If you got a bank account, you can go and deposit any amount of money. There's no problem that way. And then even if you're not doing both of this on 23rd May or for the entire period running up to 30th of September you can always keep using these notes i mean you might find uh, odd people or odd shopkeepers or vendors you know trying to tell you that no no we don't want this note because you're transferring your headache we'll have to go and exchange so i think they should not do it because so long as a currency note remains legal tender a legal tender basically means that no citizen of the country has got a right to refuse it is the duty of the person to accept that note to give the value in exchange of that note of a service or a good or probably exchange for other notes so they remain legal tender i would like to clarify here to all the listeners of akashwani that they should continue to use this and use it like normal although rbi says you are encouraged and we would advise you to go to the bank and either exchange it or deposit in your account and if very pertinent point rajesh which comes out of what if somebody needs 
needs cash or more than 20,000 rupees and you don't have a bank account in the nearest bank, what do I do? Then all you need to do is to go and deposit in your bank and then just withdraw. You can deposit and withdraw. So if you need 50,000, you can deposit in your account and withdraw. And in return, you're going to get 500 or 200 or 100 rupee notes. So they remain legal tender. However, RBI has advised sooner you do it, the better it is because obviously the objective of RBI is to complete this process as quickly as possible. So this is a withdrawal, not a ban. No, no, this is definitely not a ban. The difference between 2016-8 November incident, or I would say the directive, and this directive is that on the 500,000 rupee notes, which was declared on 8th of November by the Prime Minister himself, it was clear that you have to go and deposit these notes in the bank. However, in this case, the order which came on the 19th of May, it is very clear that you can deposit or you can just go and exchange. So when you're going, it's not note bandi, it's note badli. You go and change your note. Don't you go and take change sometimes? I've got a 500 note and I'm not finding change. I go and tell the shopkeeper, please, can you give me 500 or can you give me two 200s and 100? You are exchanging your note. So this is definitely not a note ban. However, after 30th of September, 2000 rupee note is going to become extinct. There's no doubt about that. But then you've got enough time to go and change. And why would you like to keep 2000 rupee note anyway? When you can collect four 500s or probably 20 hundreds or probably 10 200s or 40, 50 rupee notes. So there is, you've got no reason. You're not losing any value for that matter. So why should it be called a note ban anyway? So can these uh, 2000 notes be exchanged through business correspondence? Oh, yes. If you're doing it through business correspondence, the limit has been set as 4,000. You can go and change from them also. Although bank branches are so popular these days, you have bank branches in every nook and corner. And I think the big question which people are wondering is that if we have a nearest branch where we don't have an account, well, you can walk into any bank. You can just go to any bank and give your 10 notes and they will give you. And if you've got more, you can go the next day because I suppose this limit is for per day. And this is per person. Let's say you've got 20 notes. You can probably take your family member one. You can change 10 and the other family member can change another 10 notes. So I really don't think there's going to be a problem. And as far as the deposit is concerned, go and deposit as much as you have. There's no limit if you just carry cash for your daily use. And let's say somebody's got a lack of rupees lying in the form of 2,000 notes because they're so convenient to keep. You can literally keep it in a small wallet. Then no worries. You just go and deposit in your bank. And if you still need to keep cash, just ask your bank to withdraw it for you. To give back cash in lieu, they will probably give you 500 rupee notes and which you can still cap. You may need a little more space. But, you know, having said that, Rajesh, I would like to add a point here because this also makes me think that we are heading for digital economy, Rajesh. We've got so many options. We've got phone pay, Bharat pay, Google pay, Paytm, MobiQuick, these wallets, online banking, debit card, credit card. I think the number of options available for transactions these days have never been so many in my life that I have seen. I mean, you've got plenty of choices, especially the younger generation, the youth. I met a, a young guy who was 25 years old. He said, I started earning when I was 21. And he said, since the day I started earning, I've never used cash. He said, even if I go and buy a coconut on roadside, I scan the QR code and I pay it online or I pay it through a wallet and so on and so forth. So I think we are heading for digital economy. It's good for the economy and in the era when we are talking of CBDC, we should not forget that CBDC has been launched on a trial basis, the e-rupee. So eventually, I envisage that in the next four to five years, Rajesh, all these paper notes are going to disappear. All we are waiting is for the whole economy, for every citizen of India to be carrying a digital device, which is a smartphone or something, where you, you'll be good to do a digital rupee transaction. I mean, you'll have these currency notes uh, moving from one port to the other without needing any intermediary for that matter. So we are heading for that era. So I don't see any reason for people to get concerned as to we are losing 2,000 rupee note after 30th of September. And Sharad, right? I believe special arrangements for senior citizens have also been made and banks have been instructed to ensure that they are not caused any inconvenience. During Absolutely. This I mean, all banks mm. are being directed by RBI and uh, through the headquarters of the respective banks. I mean, the, the, the main directive is coming from RBI to the headquarters of the different banks. And then from the headquarters, it's going to percolate down to all the branches where they're going to be directed. Please ensure that nobody is inconvenienced. Of course, senior citizens will be given a special treatment. I mean, there'll be separate counters for senior citizens. You will not be asked to wait. You can just walk into a counter, there'll be a separate counter, just walk in and change. And anyway, you know, Rajesh, I'm not going to see queues and queues of people lining up okay. because these notes were hardly seen. I mean, yeah, out of all the people I've met hmm. since yesterday, most of them said that we haven't seen this note for the last two years. Somebody said, I haven't seen this note for last one year. So you're not going to see a crowd or a queue gathering outside okay. except a few branches where people may decide to go all at the same place. This is not going to cause any kind of chaos, which probably was seen in some ways at some places in 2016. 
Sharad, thank you so much for throwing light on the 2000 denomination banknotes. My pleasure. You are listening to a discussion on withdrawal of 2000 rupee currency notes, important queries and answers. The participants were Dr. Sharad Kohli, economic analyst, and Rajesh Lake, Akashwani correspondent. This program was produced and presented by the News Services Division of Akashwani. You can listen to it on our mobile app, News on AIR. This program is also available on our YouTube channel, News on AIR Official. You may share your feedback about this program through email at airnsdtalks at gmail.com or WhatsApp on 928-909-4044.